Why is it that the average person seeks out the advice of what feels like a million people before consulting himself? Knocking, looking, hoping, is he looking for answer? Or looking for permission to be who he already knows he is? Is he looking for insight or just validation that his reflection is in fact okay? See, I think we all deep down know who we are, know what drives us. And even if we don't know exactly what the destination looks like, our hearts know the direction best suited to begin the pursuit. So how is it so easy to forget? Why do we get our antennas crossed? See, when life becomes about meeting requirements and fulfilling obligations, checking off boxes and checking in on time, we forget the basics. We forget to live for ourselves. As if our job is to play a part, not direct the movie. And playing a part is living up to expectations. Directing the movie, well, that's creating your own expectations. This world, your world, it belongs to you. It's a world with both unimaginable happiness, bliss, moments of ecstasy, and the occasional suffering chaos that we have to navigate through, but I think all of it comes down to whether you trust yourself to live it for yourself. To remove the, the shackles, take the training wheels off, stop asking permission, and do what you've always known was the right thing. That part never changed. It just had to wait amidst all your looking for external direction for you to pause and find the internal courage. Freedom is not a life without chaos. It's trusting yourself to determine which dragons you will slay. It's not a life without battles, but fighting those battles that result in your liberation, dismissing the oppressors that build fences in your mind and chains around your soul. I've thought a lot about the idea of a life well lived, what it means, how it feels, and it seems to me it's about intentionality. Where are you going? It's not that you can escape suffering or eliminate fear. It's not that you'll avoid getting lost along the way, but it's the why. Why we endure these things makes all the difference. Is it for a better tomorrow or simply to get through today? And it's amazing accidentally stumbling upon that which scares you and intentionally facing that which scares you are so different that their occurrences trigger completely different neural networks in the brain. See, overcoming fear is ingrained in us. We want to grow, we want to evolve, we need more. The question is whether you will step out of the line that someone else made for you and live a life that is your own. And if it's crazy, great. Let it be crazy. If it's unique, perfect. Stand out, and if it scares you, my God, if it scares you, don't turn back. Don't you dare turn back. Give yourself the most important permission one can give, the permission to follow your intuition and your curiosity into tomorrow. Let the stakes be higher, but the rewards be meaningful. Let the chaos be your own to tame and to master every twist. Every turn becomes not only a part of you, but a chapter in the story of your becoming. And as the seed you've held in your hand for so long finally meets the earth and grows so high that it connects you to the heavens, remember that this is your life. It's your obligation to live it fully. <laughs>